Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I finally got the second half of our house tackled. I had done about the first half in my previous declutter video, which I will link in the description box if you missed that. And this is our homeschool closet. I am planning to homeschool my daughters at least in the first few years of school. And whenever we moved into this house a few months ago, a lot of this stuff just got thrown in here and was really not organized. I just had a goal of one day organizing it. So this is the day that it happened. As you'll see, I actually filmed this video over a few days time and kind of tackled different areas each day. So one of my goals with this was to make labels and get everything divided out into the boxes. So whenever we're doing a painting project, I know where the paint is whenever we're coloring, when I need flashcards, just making all of those things easily accessible and that I don't need to go digging through these piles. The other thing I had in here was like a lot of stuff that's listed on my Poshmark page and I wanted to put that in the cabinet sitting outside this closet. Just get everything in order. Oh, I'm slipping away. it actually sits off of our bonus room and I'm hoping possibly this summer to take this room and transform it into a media room or a second living room but for now it pretty much sits empty other than my husband will dry out his hockey gear up here sometimes or just whenever somebody stays at our house we blow up an air mattress in here but for now it's just pretty much been empty also if you're wondering why i'm unwrapping these books in our previous house i had a lot of wrapped books for decoration and this was a pile of them that didn't get unwrapped in the move so i went through them got rid of the ones that i didn't want and then put the other ones on the shelf inside the closet I considered buying a label maker for this project. I almost always make my own labels, but I just feel like even though my handwriting is not perfect, I can still make labels the size I want them to be, whereas a label maker only makes one size. And I just decided to go back to the way that I've always done it and make my own labels just using clear packing tape over top of them. And then the other thing I did was I took inventory of the things we needed and I went to the store and got some more supplies um, to fill up my boxes for different projects that we're gonna be doing.
Alright guys, so it's the next day and I wanted to show you what all I did in here. I'm so happy with how it all looks and now that I got our supplies and everything filled, this is just going to be such a useful space for us. The only thing I am going to do is get like a paper filer thingy for here so that we can file out, you know, like different colored paper and lined paper and things like that. So eventually I'll get one for in here. But up here I've got a ton of our supplies like stickers, tape, yarn and string, paint, um, beads, colored pencils, craft miscellaneous, stamps and ink, crayons, markers, glue, watercolor. Um, and then there's their KiwiCo boxes. We get those. Um, there's like the counting tools, games and puzzles. Um, just like, yeah, everything is very organized. Here is like the scissors and the pencils. Up here is like my flashcards that I use a lot with the girls right now. And as they grow into different things, we can add and take away other things like these are coloring books and workbooks. Down there are just art kits and craft kits. Um, I get those a lot, just little things that they can do. And we've got notebooks and then like little activity sets that are for learning. Anyways, I think I'm ready to move on to the next area, but I'm so thrilled with this. The next two areas were kind of small ones, just going through my cleaners in my laundry room. There was a few that were almost empty or just ones I honestly don't use and I'm tired of digging through them. So I went ahead and recycled them, got rid of them. And then I also did our coat closet, which is kind of a place that things get thrown to. It also gets kind of dirty in the bottom because I store all of my vacuum cleaners in there and I also charge them in here as well. All right, under our bathroom sinks is an area I recently did, but I thought I would go ahead and show you just for some inspiration if you are tackling under your bathroom sinks. I don't have anything to declutter or to <laughs> remove from here, so obviously there's no point in going through it all because I just recently did it. So this is my hot tools, um, and most all of this stuff was from the Dollar Tree. Um, these little containers, I keep like cotton balls, I need to refill that, um, hair ties, uh, Q-tips, and then in here I have kind of odds and ends, that's like my teeth whitening stuff. Uh, my self tanner and some brushes and just like hair clips. Then back in there is like feminine products and um, Hazley got into the sunscreen, I need to wash it up. And then these are like hair products that I use regularly. Oh, this is actually a self tanner. So um, yeah, this is what's underneath of my side of the sink. And then we have another small cabinet on the wall that has more of Corey's things, but there's like towels and this is just washcloths and hand towels. And then back there is like what I use to wash the girl's hair and their shampoo and conditioner, extra cotton balls, that kind of thing. So just very simple, very basic, all of the things we need in the bathroom. And then this is in the other bathroom that my daughters use. So again, just very basic. I have the trash can under there, extra toilet paper back there. And then this is just like their hair care things and their toothbrushes, um, just things we use regularly. Again, super simple. And a lot of people were asking the last time I showed my bathroom stuff, where we put like medicine cabinet stuff. Well, it's divided between the hall closet, which is what I'm going to go through next 
and also the one cabinet in my kitchen. I keep a lot of my like essential oils and just some other like supplements and Advil and stuff like that in my kitchen. My last spot in the house to declutter in this round of decluttering <laughs> is my daughter's closet. Now, all three of my daughters share this closet. We do a capsule wardrobing system with them. I've been doing it for a few months now and it's so convenient, so nice, but I'm kind of taking inventory of the things that we're gonna need for summer coming. So um, my youngest daughter, she was in 3T, but she is slowly sliding over into 4T, and that'll make her and my middle daughter in the same size. So the things I saved for her from last summer were 3T. So all of those things I need to weed out and put on Poshmark, the ones that, you know, are still nice and not stained. But everything else is pretty organized in here. We have PJs in here, socks and undies and this stuff. And then I have like extra headbands and stuff in that. And then they each have their own section. The bottoms go here, so obviously it's cold out, so we've got leggings going on. It will swap out to shorts here um, after a while. And then up here is where I keep all of their like either out of season stuff or things that are getting too small, all of those sorts of things. So that's what I'm gonna be going through right now. And then I'm gonna be putting the stuff on my Poshmark. I will leave my Poshmark link in the description box. gave you guys some motivation to get decluttering especially with spring around the corner and thinking about you know spring cleaning all of those things don't forget to check out part one of this video if you haven't seen it like i said i will leave the link in the description box give this video a like for me comment on the place in your home that most needs decluttered and i will see you guys in my next video